Hello guys, welcome to Traders Therapy Session. I'm your host, KRO. Without wasting any time, uh, welcome to weekly review video. Uh, this week, guys, we're going to make it different because we did not had annotations for for this week, for last week, I mean to say, which is a new week, was a new week from the last video we posted because we met the objectives. So we were waiting for price to give us some clue whether it's willing to go higher or lower after that point. So without wasting any time, we'll just have to go straight to the charts and see what transpires. Let me see you into the charts. Welcome back to the chat video, guys. Um, let's do the top-down analysis and see if we are still in... We are still seeing what we are still seeing what we saw before, or we are still in tune. Let me just say that we are still in tune with the market. So without wasting any time, let's just jump into the monthly and see what we have expected. And remember, this has been the price from here has been followed from june because the focus here on a monthly was this fair value gap seeing if price will react off of this fair value gap and go down but on july here's the on august sorry this was this was june july yes it was july august was this doji candle on july on the month of july we had a concern let me just do this I had a concern. Let me just say I. I had a concern because we had this fair value gap right here. Let me just put this like this. And then you can see the price first tested on June, the fair value gap. We expect maybe on July to give just the second test and move down. But something happened. But something happened. What happened is that uh, the candle closed above the fair value gap. So I'm I'm watching if we can treat that as an invasion fair value gap or what. But remember the rules of an invasion fair value gap. It runs to a certain liquidity. So what it means is that it can run to this liquidity because of its invaded or it can continue. Hence it respected this. And even if this was a lower time frame, you had your entry right here on this candle, where would your stop loss be? your stop loss would be at least above this candle so it's still valid but we concerned about this let me remove this so that it doesn't we don't clutter the charts with that on a current market what did we have we had a little busy, busy right here of which we tested and we are still watching whether the price is going to respect this or not so this is the current situation that we have right here and we have a little bit uh, we have a lower busy right here and then we have a buy side liquidity so our focus won't be on a monthly because of we are not position traders so we are utilizing this just to get the high momentum with that being said let's go to a weekly time frame and see what we have here This was badly busy. That one, the one that we are watching to see if it can, um, it uh, it can react for the second time, not third time, because as you can see, oh, for the first time, I mean to say, this is not a second hand, but on a weekly, here's what we have: we have a little busy right here. First test, the we broke above. Then we came back for the second test. We should break above this remember the second hand fair value gap then we came back then we decked into it again then what's nice what i'm watching at the moment i keep this in uh, i keep this in mind but sorry guys i'm catching a flu uh if my voice is somehow uh what we are watching now we have a current cb right here that the price is reacting off of it so what we want to see we want to see if the price will respect this and give us the drop down because if price 
reject this then if price starts to reject this then i can start looking at the at this area right here but nothing has lost right here so this is the weekly this is what we have so what is the main focus here we are focusing on this uh, bz right here and this cb right here and see if the market is giving us something that will at least uh, give us the sign whether the price is going down or up so let's go to a daily time frame guys please practice time frame correlation so let's see on the daily this was last week's uh, this was last week's price remember the nfp friday where we met the objective this was explained um this was explained on the previous video so let's see uh, what we had once the price got here i expected and i mentioned on that video i expected and i mentioned that the price can deal with this right here of which i was watching this cb right here and the price gave us a nice test on that cb guys if you are asking this is algorithmic run we're not claiming to take trades we're just highlighting to people what is it that they did not see or what did the algorithm do for that moment so the price went into that and reacted off of this of which it was thursday and friday so let's remove that we'll deal with it after so from here guys i will go to the hourly time frame of which is going to determine the days of the week that we took the tra that the trades occurred and we'll see what transpired on that one so let me just jump into 60 minutes you will see that in 60 minutes i highlighted the days from the 9th to the 13th of october remember the objectives this is this has been the objectives for three weeks now remember our objectives was to get into this and then what did i explain here i told you that i was watching this was market maker by model then i was watching if i can get a pennant right here you can argue and then after i will get a flag and then after a flag that will be the last last part of it with reasons this might be uh, the last last part then price will do whatever it does so let's see during the days let's go and summarize the days now now guys the main focus will be on the current fair value gap liquidity that's it current fair value gap liquidity that's it then we'll pick maybe one or two days to annotate uh, sorry this was monday and the focus is also on new york session either new york morning am or pm session but the same can be done with london session as well then on monday 9 am as you can see and i'm using again i'm using new york time guys 9 am new york time so in my uh, in my country that will be 3 pm so 9 a.m new york time after the market opens let me remove this the liquidity you can see we have sell side liquidity with this candle look at this candle broke the low liquidity was taken out and then we had a run to this right here plus we were inside the fair value gap sorry let's see the sensitive areas that we played with i'm doing it the wrong way no i want to take it from top to bottom from bottom to top because i want to see those areas right there so look at that We had a reaction of a 50% fair value gap right there. 
we have a 50% reaction. We had 25% reaction, which did not hold that much. Then we had a 50% reaction right here. When? At 9 a.m. Core timing is everything, guys. Then we had a market run as simple as that. After that, on Tuesday, remember I mentioned that uh, for now, I'm just watching what will price do when it gets above here. Hence, I was watching this above area, right? This area above here, which is the CB, the daily CB. What did the market do? What did the price, I mean to say, do? We had accumulation right here. We had, um, what, we, what we have here? We have a manipulation right here which we took out this liquidity right here, this sell side liquidity, we do not have to take this one. But it would be nice because, let's see the low of this candle, of which is 0 0.42.8, the low of this candle, 0 0.43. So we never engaged with this Fabio gap right here. So it would be nice if price would come right here and test and leave. But price likes to do that. So what do we have? We have a low sell side liquidity taken out just right at the right time. Then we have price taking out the highs. When it's here, uh, on Wednesday, what do we have? Still applies. Guys, please pay, pay attention here. Something should come up here. Let's start it from Monday. We have co uh, consolidation. Price was taken out. Remember, we are going up. Consolidation, even on Friday. Manipulation, price was taken out. Consolidation, look at the high. Manipulation, price was taken out. Consolidation, manipulation during London. And after London, during pre-New York, I guess. And then price went high. Same applies. We had the accumulation. We took it up to this price right here. Let's see this low. We have 132.4. Let's see this low right here. 132.2. So we engaged with every low right here. We took out every low. Accumulation, manipulation, then price went high. Reverse everything that I've just said, guys. Look, it, look at it upside down accumulation when the price reversed after it has engaged with that daily CB right there. Accumulation, manipulation, then price went down. Same principle. Accumulation, look at this. Before 9, manipulation, as you can see this candle. A retail traders will call this a stop loss hunt. But this is the market. This is algorithm. This is what the algorithm is doing. Then price went lower. So, which day can we take? And I did not choose any day, guys. I'm just not feeling well. Then I felt like I, I would do... Uh, let me just do this video from the chat. So, let's pick one day of which will be... So, today, let's take a continuation. Maybe we can take Tuesday or Wednesday then the reversals are easy guys let's just take the continuation so on tuesday let's see what is happening on tuesday this is where we're going to focus on guys we are not claiming that we have traded this and of course last week because of the objectives were met we're not watching the market then this is now when we can see and engage i should have engaged on thursday and friday but the time on my side could not allow me to participate but from now going forward i guess we'll start to see what the price and engage with the price but the price we've been watching the price whatever is the, the price is doing because at this point we are we are being selective with the trades not that these trades were not uh, they were okay all right you could have took these trades and made a lot of returns in terms of risk to reward. So, let's see 
we're going to Tuesday. Let's see what happened to what happened on Tuesday. After this, we'll go to 15 minutes. Focus on that orange shaded area right there. Let's focus on the orange shaded area. Remember, guys, you have your bias. You have your bias to go to for price to go high. And you have this thing. Look at how nice this is. Then manipulation. Then we went up, we went even higher. Let's look at this. Let's take this for a while. Let's look at this for a while. What did we have here? Uh, on Monday, right? We had our trade. It's fine. On Tuesday, we're still going high because our objectives was the daily CB right there, of which we mentioned. Then, accumulation, manipulation. Is the timing correct? Then look at this. What do we have here? We have our target as buy side liquidity. Look at this. This is a strong resistance according to the retail according to the retail trading star strategy. Then we took it up. So now the focus, let's put the whole focus here at the right time. Let's go to five minutes. Now we're going to focus on the silver bullets and everything, guys. Uh, Tuesday. Guys, no one should hate here. We are only doing this for educational purpose. And if you have something to say here, guys, please let it be on the positive side. But you know there will always be one of those. Then we have 9. Let's go for 9.30 and wait for Judas swing so that we can get our trade around 10. But doesn't mean that the trade will come at 10 exactly. 9.30. This is what we have. 9.30. We had our Judas swing. Even taking it further. You can even take this to the lower time frame, but you wouldn't trust it when it's, the, it's, it's here. Then manipulation. Then you see your displacement. displacement we are looking for what fair value gaps right what fair value gap do you have here you have this one remember at the right time and you have a little one right here so it makes sense that you would want to utilize this area as your entry right here maybe go back to the lower time frame but as simple as that you had your fair value gap your stop loss below the fair value gap then your target what should your target be uh, guys i'm not saying that you're going to to get this as it is so let me just say you entered off of the second fair value gap your stop loss below the candle or here it doesn't matter then where's your target let's go back to 15 minutes okay for this one your target was that daily that that doesn't appear here let's go to an hour and try to figure it out this right here where did we enter this was monday was was this monday oh the thursday guess i kind of got lost in 8 september this is not it not what you're focusing on this is yes this tuesday you entered here 
Where was your target? The only target that you had was this buy side right here. The 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 daily what? The daily CB right there. The daily CB right there. So this would be your entry and this would be a target. But if you were using one hour, your stop loss can be even here. And then the target will also be nice. Guys, without wasting any time, forgive me uh, for not being that active with you. Uh, like I mentioned before, I, I catched, I'm catching a flu. So let me deal with that and then see you on the next video. Uh, maybe with more strength on that one. Guys, please go through that uh, bus driver model and see why we're talking about these things because it's explained there, especially when I introduced uh, time and price to you. This is what I explained. At the right time, you must be at the right place. The price must be at the right place so that you can take advantage of that. We are doing nothing but making, bring, simplifying um, what you you are challenged in so whatever is it that you are doing here guys we we like to have a support rather than being negative in this thing and see success in terms of reading price and doing anything like that so without wasting any time guys let me see you on the next video but just a moment uh, on an hourly that just because we engaged with price there I suppose swing low, swing high. Okay, the market may come a little. Okay, here is what is going. Here is what I'm seeing, what I'm expecting to see from the market. Now that we have engaged with the buy side, I will want to see the clear, clear. But this is clear. As you can see, we had a displacement. Look at the high. You can utilize this high and that high or any high. Because but this is a high high. And then look at this market structure shift or you can utilize if you utilize this look at this market structure shift and look at the price coming back into that and drop down so this is the nice this was the nice trade this trade was very 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 nice right here for market to come there so let's see if we're going to engage with the sell side remember we banged the sell side right here so market was playing you see right here which was two weeks back on Wednesday, the 27th of September. And then coming the second Wednesday, we thought the price might take this low, engage with this before it goes high. But instead, that was, was left behind then. We had that. Maybe we can engage for this week. Maybe we can try to engage with this lows right here. Let's see what will the market bring to us. Guys, I will see you on the next video.